The third module for the ISS was the Russian build Svezda. On July 12, 2000, Svezda launched aboard a proton rocket from Bankinor. It was the first rocket ever launched with advertising, a giant Pizza Hut logo on the side of the rocket. Svezda would spend two weeks in orbit before it docked with the International Space Station. Proton rocket is the workhorse of the former Soviet and now Russian space programs. First launched in July of 1965, Proton's a heavy lift rocket, able to carry 22.8 tons to low earth orbit and 6.3 tons to geostationary transfer. By 1977, the reliability rate of the Proton was 97%. The Proton rocket stands 53 meters tall. The first stage is powered by six RD-275s, which look like strap-on boosters, but it's all one big unit. The thrust is 10.47 meganewtons, or 1.9 million pounds. Unlike cryogenic fuels used on Falcon 9 or Saturn 5, the proton uses highly toxic unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, UDMH, and nitrogen tetroxide, or N2O4. These are hypergolic fuels which ignite on contact avoiding the need for an ignition system and can be stored at ambient temperatures. The second stage burns the same fuel as the first stage through three RD-210 and one RD-211 engines pushing 2.399 meganewtons of thrust. Over two minutes into the flight, the fairings that protect the module during flight are jettisoned. The third stage of the Proton is a single RD-212 with 630 kilonewtons of thrust and also burning N204 and UDMH.
The basic structural frame of the Svezda, known as DOS-8, was initially built in the mid-1980s to be the core of the Mir-2 station. This means that Svezda had a similar layout to the core module DOS-7 of the Mir station. It was in fact labeled as Mir-2 for quite some time in the factory. Its design lineage thus extends back to the original Salyut stations. The space frame was completed in February 1985 and major internal equipment was installed by October 1986. Svezda consists of four main parts. The cylindrical work compartment, where the crews work and live, which makes up the bulk of the module's volume. The small spherical transfer compartment, located at the front, with three docking ports. And at the aft end, the cylindrical transfer chamber, with one docking port, which is surrounded by the unpressurized assembly compartment. This gives Svezda four docking ports in total. The component weighs about 18,000 kilograms and has a length of 13.1 meters. It also has solar panels, which extend out 29.7 meters. The transfer compartment was designed to attach to the Zarya module. It has docking ports intended for the science power platform and a universal docking module. The assembly compartment holds external equipment such as thrusters, thermometers, antennas, and propellant tanks. The transfer chamber is equipped with an automatic docking equipment and is used to service Soyuz and Progress spacecraft. Svezda can support six crews, including separate sleeping quarters for two cosmonauts at a time. It also has a NASA-provided treadmill with vibration isolation system and a bicycle for exercise. It has a toilet and other hygiene facilities and a galley with a refrigerator and a freezer. The module contains the primary Russian computers for guidance and navigation. Svezda provided the first place for the crew to view the Earth from the ISS with 14 different windows. The module also contains the electron system that electrolyzes condensed humidity and wastewater to provide hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is expelled into space and the oxygen is used for breathing. The condensed water and wastewater can be used for drinking in an emergency, but ordinarily fresh water is used from Earth. It also contains the Vostok, a system which removes carbon dioxide from the air based on the use of rechargeable absorbers of carbon dioxide gas. Svesta has been criticized for being excessively noisy, and the crew's been observed wearing earplugs inside of it. In addition to providing early living quarters, Svezda has a life support system, a communication system, which introduced a 10 megabit ethernet network connection with the ISS, electrical power distribution, a data processing system, a flight control system, and propulsion. On July 26, 2000, Svezda became the third component of the ISS when it docked to the aft port of Zarya. Later in July, the computers aboard Zarya handed over the ISS commanding function to computers on Svezda. On the next shuttle mission, STS-106, astronauts would enter the module for the first time. The next ship to launch for the ISS was an unmanned progress cargo ship that would dock to the aft port on the Svezda.